Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. There comes the fucking sun. God damn it. Hey, how you doing? This is going to be... You got the Empress. Good for you guys. You guys deserve it after all this bullshit. But, welcome to your 2020 predictive read for the year of of 2020 because I just said that. Anyway, uh, Scorpio, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If it don't, well, don't worry about it because this is a prediction and it doesn't really matter now, does it? No, it fucking don't. Yes, it did. La, la, la. Well, no, no, it don't, but whatever. Um, so, Scorpio, this is going to be your yearly read. Let's see what's coming up for you predictively for the year. Come back to this if you want to watch it again. Oh, you are leaving 2019 with abundance. Three of Cups. You got potential, bro. This is the third party. It's just a good fucking time. For this first quarter, um, you are definitely holding up your strength when it comes to like going back to like some bullshit you don't want to deal with. You're demonstrating how powerful you are by not using that scorpion tail that's attached to the lion that you somehow chimera to murder people. You're just being like, look at my new pet. It can kill you. And then, like, you know, no one fucks with you. And, and, and you're kind of dramatic with it, too. Like, is there a reason why you're naked? Probably. But nobody needs to know that shit. You're on your game. Um, for the second quarter, though, you got the full reverse. You're not trying to take a leap of faith into something. Well, you are restricting yourself in the first quarter. And that's why. Third quarter, there is no truce. There's no peace. Everyone's going to be throwing hands, like, there is something going on that's bringing this indecision, and that is why there is no real resolution in this shit whatsoever. In the fourth quarter, it just feels like everything ended up really fucked up. Well, hmm. Or something didn't come together the way you thought, or some karma is kicking in. Saturn's card, after all. Appropriate, it should end with the cycle, huh? Alright, so let's see. This first quarter, Scorpio. Um, you're restricting yourself where there is no production, reaping of rewards or anything. If it doesn't look like a good option, you're not dealing with it, right? And you're carrying that truth with you all the way in the 2020. Look at that shit. And... Ooh, two aces. Now why? Hmm. That's kind of a strange thing to identify with, I'll have to say. Um, Scorpio. There's some kind of truth that you've endeavored into, right? But that truth also involves like, hmm, what the fuck is that? This truth also involves in, um, realizing that there's something here that's not being loved or no apology being given. Maybe you feel like it's useless to you. Second quarter, um, not taking the leave of faith because you know what bait looks like and you're not stupid. <laughs> uh, the devil card right here, magnetism, lore, it is not. You're not jumping into anything that's going to be um, against you, especially if it comes to love. You're like, no, I left that shit behind in 2019. I'm getting my abundance. Fuck the off. Uh, I know a tower moment when I see one. <coughs> Scorpio, but you might be bringing the tower with that Mars energy. Just saying. I think you're gonna break someone's heart on purpose. Or something, right? Two of Swords where there is no peace. Um, someone's really shy and timid about that. You know, like, the indecision isn't bringing any closure. And someone's not sure how to approach that entirely. Because I know it's not going to make people happy right here, Scorpio. And that's keeping you a little bit trapped and confined, I feel like. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's like the Bergen Hearts got you all stuck and you know the wheel's turning. It's like it's time, man. It's time. This fucking sun, I swear. It only happens during the day. Let's see. Last quarter. That strength breaks, or it feels like that strength was for nothing, or you didn't have enough strength. But then a message might appear. That'll bring symmetry and poise. It'll help finally help you um, 
So let's see, you're holding up your strength for something, but it's like once you lose that strength and the message of whatever it is you need or whatever it is that could be released helps bring the balance you need in order to bring peace finally because we got the two of swords again. How are you entering 2020? Yeah, you're looking for something abundant because you got some pain and grief going on with you is why you're just like I'm not holding out for this shit it hurt the last time bitch you know but it's like once you release whatever it is you're holding your strength up against that's what brings the symmetry and poise you know and look at you as the king or the prince of cups just riding in being like I got my vape and I'm blowing up this bitch y'all <laughs> oh I'm such a dork but yeah, it's like, look at you, you're all in yourself. You're just like, I'm going, I'm going. There, there's nothing to stop me. I have a bird this time. Not a fucking purpose. Poipus. Poipus. You know. Second quarter. Definitely an offer of love from somebody. I feel like it might be you. It might not be you, though. It could be you in retrospect. Especially coming when the third quarter. It might have been a retrospect of where, like, maybe you should have gone for the babe. But it was like, no, nah, I want to get that tower moment. I want a slam dunk, you know. It might be a retrospect, but someone could be coming in trying to offer to you. And that's, like, when you realize what is and is not bait. We got the Empress down here trying to be settled with herself. You're trying to... Figure out what will feed your soul best while trying to get out of a situation that's made you feel trapped and insecure and, like, you can't get whatever you need to be whatever or whatnot. Because the Empress is a comforting person. She's like a mother figure. She's someone you go to when you want a cookie or when you got a booby. Like, she is that eternal feminine energy. Hmm. I feel like you want to be settled in that energy, and it feels like you're trapped from doing so. And it's like there's a main focus or goal for you that, like, you're not picking up. And right here at the last quarter, ooh. Ace of Swords, reverse. Yeah, so whatever this truth you're holding is, maybe you think that there isn't any love or any apologies to be given or whatever it is, that's not entirely true. And you figure that out once you release your guard in the fourth quarter. Once you let down the strength and just let the message come in and flow, it kind of like brings the balance you've been looking for in this entire scenario. How you're going to leave 2020, how you're going to end the year, Valor with the Seven of Wands, victory, nonetheless. Scorpio, it looks like you might have a good year ahead of you. It's just, it's going to be a battle because, like, I think you're worried about getting hurt this coming year. More than how you're worried you're going to hurt people. And I think this perspective where you think that there is no love. Hell, holding a grudge in general. Like, just holding a grudge in general. You know. Any of that energy. Right? Like, I think you're going to be releasing that this coming year. Yeah, Libra is already going to be having an awakening. And catching motherfuckers up in their bullshit. So, you might be going through your own systems of, like, learning how to possibly let shit go. That way you can finally be at peace and get rid of these illusions that surround you and drive you crazy. But that's your yearly forecast. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.